Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Scrote, and we are taking a look at From the Depths. We're going to be continuing the good old campaign. Now, I want to uh, show you a little something magical. Something I've been working on. Uh, I'm not actually going to use it in the campaign because it's like just a ridiculous beast. Also, why is my UI gone? There we go. Uh, I call it the Porkly Overwatch. Let me show you. It doesn't even really fly correctly. Uh, it's pretty big, though. I think it's like 15,000 blocks or something like that. Let's go and spawn. Load up the Porkly Overwatch. <laughs> Come on, baby. Load her up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh. I hate when I make myself laugh. Oh my god. It's just a a huge flying pig that I made. Check him out. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, hang on. I got to do some painting. Oh my gosh. I forgot to paint these parts. Oh, so this thing's horrible. It doesn't even really fly correctly. It's just, uh, I just wanted to have some fun, you know? Like, it was one of those days when I woke up and I was not just really feeling it and I just was... Started working in the designer, and now my pig is starting to flip and bamboozle sideways. Let's see. Space pig! Da -da 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 -da. He's a pig going to space. Na -na 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 -na. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Who wouldn't love this? Oh, space pig. Okay, let's see if I can take control here. Space pig, come on, baby. Let's ride it. Yeah. I mean, how would you like to be... You know, just chilling in your fortress, doing your own thing, and then the Porkly Overwatch shows up, and he's like, and I've come with gifts and bacon. Oh, hang on, I'm banking. I'm doing a bank turn. Just give me a moment here. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay. Oh, no, he's uh, he's taking a turn for the worse. Uh, pull up, please. Pull up pig see here's here's some of his problems he doesn't want to pull up Wee, yeah come on it's uh it's kind of a beast to fly let me show you the inside of it i mean look how big this is i made this kind of humongous <laughs> the inside of it's just ridiculous uh oh it looks like we've hit water oh yeah we are dipping into the sweet lake even his legs are, are just fully, like, each one is just ginormous. We got a water pump in each foot, just in case. Uh, this shit happens. Look at his, his face. It's just dipping down. May you guys. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe enough of the pig. Uh, okay, that's enough of the pig. Anyways, I just had to show you guys because that I thought that was just so great. Can I load another one? Can I have two Porkly Overwatches flying around, maybe? Oh boy, it's starting to starting to get a little laggy. There we go, two Porkly Overwatches, yay! And see how stable he flies? I mean, look at him. I mean, really, you could, like, come in for just a fine, a really fine landing, and it would be superb. Okay, let's, let's get back to the campaign here. Let's continue our, our ass kickery. Load campaign, season one. Let's do this. So, if I remember correctly, we are fighting the White Flayers, and we have been on quite the win streak, actually. The buzz saws have been our biggest problem. Those those guys are, are kind of terrifying. All right, let's, uh, let's move this guy up here. And looks like we're about to have a battle here. So, we have our first notes... <laughs> first notes, Gravy. First... First, Scrote Navy. You can do it. You can do it, Scrote. We've got the Holland Foyas over here, which maybe I said that more correctly this time. I don't know. I do know that uh, I've made some changes to these guys, and I think I need to do some retrofitting. Let, let's find out, though. Let's spawn them in. Definitely way more stoked with the color scheme. More options. Retrofit. Let's see what the latest one is, and if we do indeed have a retrofit. Uh, a little bit. Let's do it. Alright, that one. 
I'm gonna have to rename them, so just to just give me a moment here. Rename. Holland, Holland for ya, Holland for ya. Yeah, there we go. We'll just do both of these with the same name, Holland for ya. Okay. Yeah. Now we're feeling it. We're upgraded. So one of the big upgrades that I actually added on to the Holland for ya is more Q switches. Finally, you can do it, Scrote. More Q squit. More Q switches. So, these uh, missile defense systems each had one Q-switch previously, now they have three. So we've taken their, their damage down to about 105, range is 600, but they should shoot a lot more often, I do believe. So let me get out of here, let's, let's go ahead and get back to the map, uh, pull all, and let's get ready for this battle. So what are we looking at here? Force count 3, strength 24. You know, nothing the uh, Holden Foyas... Holden for you. Which, by the way, it means uh, Hellfire. It, you can almost hear Hellfire when you say it, like Holden for you. It's like Hellfire. Pretty cool. Which, thank you everybody for the information and, and tips on that, by the way. Extremely helpful. Alright, so I can't actually tell. I think I'm in battle here, and I'm going to spawn in my ships, and let's get this bad boy underway. I think. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, let's get off the cannons here. And let's see if I can cancel the rain. That would be such a badass power to have in real life. Alright, so we both have just streams of insanity going. We have a little stinger up here. He's not going to last very long. I like to imagine inside of every stinger there's like a little bakery where they're making muffins. You know, uh, just the kind of thing that they would do in a stinger, honestly. I think this is a marrow pulper. Yeah, he's so angry. Jesus, calm down, man. Eat some explosive shells, because that'll make you calm. Oh, look at this. We got some missiles coming here from the Holden Foyas. Which, marrow pulpered down. I think this is like a, a dark... A dark asshole, I think it's called. Uh, dark Hammer. <laughs> it's a dark hammer, and he's about to get wrecked. Here comes the incoming fire. And dark hammer down. It said there were three. Oh, yeah, that's right. The stinger was one. Okay, that was that was a quick battle. God, I'm really I'm really satisfied with the, with these ships. You know, they started off pretty crappy. Uh, but, hey, you shouldn't uh, judge a ship. Or you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Or I guess you could, like, if the book was made of pure gold and the cover was gold, you could be like, this book is gold, just solely based on the cover. Okay, let's pull all, and let's, let's, let's get going. So let's see what we're dealing with here with the White Flares. Right now they have a, the third airborne fleet, which is moving about here, probably... No, it doesn't say what's in it, but I, I surmise probably a harpoon, maybe. Maybe a little something else. So, the White Flares, I don't see... They have a few squares. Uh, no, this is the Grey Talons. They don't have any massive, like, 80-plus squares anymore. We have definitely taken that out. In fact, let's real quick go take a look at Diplomacy. So, the White Flares, we have their territory now down to 82% of its original size. They're still at 100% of their strength. That hasn't budged. And let's take a look at how we're doing there. They utterly hate us. Just utterly. It's, just, it's, it's almost pure hatred. It's, uh, and I don't really know the difference between hatred and pure hatred. It's, it's much more uh, potent, I guess. Ooh, it's such potent hatred. Alright, let's 10x this bad mother. I like how I'm just rolling with these two fleets, you know? Like, I haven't sent resource ships out or anything. I've, I've sort of just been letting um, the, the kills we have sustain me. I think our difficulty settings allow us to do that. It's kind of like a, a bonus we have going on right now. All right, so we have a battle coming up here with the Riverly Nut Fleet. This is our good old River's Delights. This will be a pretty big one. Force count three, strength 52. Million bucks. Million freaking bucks as there's a buzzsaw in there. I am willing to bet that much money that I don't even remotely have 
that there's going to be a buzzsaw. Let's hop in and see. All right, down to the battlefield. Oh, man. Okay, I just, I know there's going to be a buzzsaw. Let's spawn in the River's Delights here. Spawned. I was like, oh, shit, they only gave me one. Uh, oh, comp, uh, AI on. I'm so glad I checked right away. I don't like it when I get the first jump, you know? It's great to have that first jump. Oh, look at that. I would be out a million dollars. Uh, because we have a Sparrow, we have a Marrow Pulper, and we have a Retarius. It does seem... Uh, new dot activate equals true. Great. I love this. Just the carnage. The pure, uh, unadulterated carnage that's going on right now. This is something I feel like I should pay for. It's like an NC-17 scene. I need to plunk down fifteen ninety-nine. Oh, that looks awesome. Screenshot. <laughs> Please excuse the noise. I do apologize. Oh, let's go take a look at the inside of the sparrow right now, now that we have a great chance. Pretty cool. You can see, like, his missiles. Uh, and he's got, like, a cannon in there. Not really doing him any good. And what are we shooting at? I don't know what was happening there. Probably the fact that the sparrow was falling out of the sky. And so the River's Delights were having to, having to alter their uh, firing arc. Alright, the Sparrow just had some major explosions. Oh, excellent nighttime. My favorite. Alright, let's check out how the River's Delights are doing here. They are both completely untouched. These, uh, these shields have really been doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have just been really satisfied. Like, I've only built, technically, two... Um, semi, I'd, I'd say medium-sized ships, the Riverly Delight and the, uh, the Holdenfoya. And, um, you know, they've, they've really been doing well. Now, I will say this, as we move on in the campaign, uh, the factions are going to get harder, uh, that's for sure. I mean, things are going to be getting a lot harder, I think. Screenshot. Screenshot. Apologies. The dingleberry sound, it gets you... 60% of the time, it'll get you every time. So who do we have left down here? Uh, it's the Retarius. Oh, no, yeah, there's not much left of that Retarius. He is. He's just exploding and disintegrating. Mm. Ah, a little uh, peppermint coffee this morning. I guess it's technically not this morning anymore. It is... It is almost 1 p.m., so... Okay, another battle won. Excellent. That, that feels majestic. really does. Yeah, so if we take a look at the map here, let's pull all. Let's go back to uh, point 0.1 speed. And let's take a look at some of these enemy forces. Now, a lot of these factions, well, they each also kind of employ their own, like, really special tactics and build styles. Which I've been thrilled with. You know, it's really cool the way they do that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at this. Like, the Steel Striders have 108 on that square. That's That's crazy huge. Okay, so let's get this uh, next battle going underway here with the Holden Foyas. Holden Foya. Sounds cool to say. All right, we're down. We're we're interfaceless, which is okay. Let's spawn in the first Scrote Navy. AI is on. Let's see where they're going to be targeting here. Great. I'm going to go UI-less again. I really like the UI-less. Oh, this is a majestic screenshot. Yeah, love it. Sorry, I don't normally take this many screenshots when I'm playing, but, um, you know, I don't know. I'm just in that weird mood, I guess. That screenshot mood. So here we have a marrow pulper directly in front of us. Here we have a dark asshole. Dark hammer. I've got to not call it a dark asshole. And over here... So, two Dark Hammers, I guess. Yeah, that's a Dark Hammer. I, you know what's so cool? Look at this. You can't even see the River's Delights. Or if you can, you can just barely make them out on the distance there, on the horizon. Alright, the Dark Hammers are getting together to have a little party. Probably going to play some Smash Brothers on the Wii. That's what I imagine. That's what I would do. You know, if I had the opportunity, I would definitely jump, jump at the bit. To rock out some uh, Smash Bros. I haven't gotten to play the latest one. 
Which I'm very bummed about, because that's such a fun game. And wow, did I deviate off course there. Okay. Dark Hammer down. And mother sucker. Okay. He's gone. Let's fly against the grain here. Oh, look at him. Just, just cruising in formation, man. Freaking sweet. All right. Let's see what else we can do here. Any more havoc we can wreak. Can we get you going over here? I'm just going to keep pushing. You know, I think um, I think that's what I want to do. Just keep on pushing. And you look at this. We're making a dent. I mean, we've taken out probably 20% you know, of their forces, maybe 30. Which is, which is uh, just great in my book. So they've still got a, a fleet moving around. This third airborne is still making his way over here. He's going to reinforce this square. And then this is going to be probably one of their mightiest uh, territories that they own. That'll make it fairly large, I do believe. So here we go. We have another battle coming up here with the River's Delights. Let's get down to it. I've really been enjoying the campaign mode lately, by the way. Um, just once you get some ships and you start making progress. Like right now, I can just go battle to battle. And to me, that's a blast. Like that is just so much fun. Okay, so one of the one of the river's delights has spawned in very close. This is a Retarius. Reckon the really where? Oh, so I will say this: the river's delight. Uh, I need to alter the alter these ships a little bit. I need to do some retrofitting on these. I've been spending almost all of my time retrofitting the uh, Holland Foyas, as opposed to looking at these and. When a Retarius is close, uh, he can really get a lot of shots off, which sucks. Damn, yeah, look at that. Okay, he hasn't hit our sweet little ammo barrel thing yet. And now we're focusing on him. We're like, duh, how dare you shoot missiles? It's almost hilarious to watch the, the laser defense systems on these ships, because they, they are so highly ineffective the way they are uh, positioned on the deck. They really just need a lot of work. Incoming fire! Look out, river! Ah, oh, that's okay. How do we? How do we do? Uh, Ninety-eight and a hundred percent. So, you know, not too bad. Uh, we got to, we got hit a little bit. I also want to reinforce these guys a lot. Um, I'll probably make that my next priority. I generally try to work on my ships in between episodes or in between every few episodes. You know, I just I try to find the right amount of time that I want to work on stuff. All right, let's head let's head up here. Let's get this next battle underway. I figured, you know, we'll we'll do a few battles here and uh, just try to make some sweet progress. So here we have another one, a force count three, strength twenty eight battle. And uh, let's see, nothing nothing big in there. It says the mothership is a stinger, which cracks me up. I can't. It's like a if you had a Yorkshire Terrier and uh, you know he had like a posse of Great Danes behind him. That's what I imagine, like, the stinger is for the White Flares. <laughs> Alright, first Scrote Navy. We are spawning in the Holden Foyas. That was cool how the shields kind of all turned on. Okay, I see a Sparrow and two Stingers. Alright, here we go. We were trying to shoot those. Now the Sparrow's going to bite it real quick. He does not do well with explosive damage. You can see him. We've are Oh my god, we already just chunked the heck out of this guy. Screenshot. Apologies. Triple apologies. So many screenshots today. Okay, so... You know, one thing I've noticed, the gauge... When you, Once you start increasing the gauge on your turrets, it feels like that almost exponentially increases the amount of tracking time they need to uh, track on their targets. I, I want to find out if it's gauge plus something like um, your barrel length. Like, what goes into play into... Increasing or decreasing the amount of tracking time it takes. Because what I'd love to be able to do is build a really big barrel, maybe maybe with not so big of a gauge, but have it be able to track quickly. I just don't think that's something that's possible anymore. You know, barrels used to track really fast, but uh, after some recent changes, they definitely don't. Oh, look, we got some missiles coming out a little bit late. That's all right. But they're going in for the Sparrow. Hell yeah. 
I love when stuff works like this. And you know, don't forget, uh, we don't get to see it too very often, but each of the Holden Foyas has a full array of missiles and torpedoes. And, the, you know, it's so cool because if you use the ejector system, it makes shooting missiles underwater uh, much more viable, I guess, because they start underwater and uh, the ejector system helps them get out of the water very quickly. Okay, another battle. Another battle won. Let's head this way. I think I'd like to try to get in. Oh, ooh, this is a big one. Holy smokes, 100. That would be the biggest thing we've ever fought, would be a size 100. I believe I believe the biggest we fought previously is like an 80, 82, 88 um, uh, enemy strength. Okay, let's see how we're going to do here. We're, go we're going in. Which one is going to battle first? You know what? I'm just going to do one of these battles, because this will be the last battle for this episode. All right, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to go into this battle with the the Hollenfoyas, the Hellfires. All right, let's spawn in the Navy. First Scrote Navy, by the way, the bestest of, of navies, probably. All right, let's go ahead and head on down here. Let's follow the artillery shells, the cannon shells. Okay, right off the bat, we got a problem here. We have a buzz saw. Please. Please. Ooh, we're getting hit. Please wreck this buzzsaw. Is that two buzzsaws? No. Wow, we look look at all the missiles they shoot. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, let's see what kind of shenanigans is about to happen here. So we're just now starting to focus on the buzzsaw. He's coming in hot and heavy. He's launching uh, missiles like crazy. At some point, okay, here go here go our torpedoes. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to turn. No, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this this always stresses me to flip out. Okay, his front buzzsaw has stopped working. Our torpedoes just missed him. <laughs> Please get this guy. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Oh, look at that, though. We are hitting a bunch of his missiles, which is great. So, this is... I mean, golly, what an effectively cool ship, the Buzzsaw. The way it does this... And look at my ship launching torpedoes like a nut. He's like, we can do it! Wee! While my other guy is just, like, point-blanking the Buzzsaw from, from right underneath it. Okay, we have a seriously bad situation here. I don't think I've seen a single episode that I've recorded where a buzzsaw has not gotten extremely close to me. Alright, another barrage of torpedoes. All the torpedoes are totally, totally failing. They're being launched to uh, hit the buzzsaw, and that's that's just failing. Alright, he's, oh man, he's really having a field day on my, uh, on my ship here. Oh my gosh, is he ever. And it looks like my, my other ship is not even focusing on the buzzsaw. He's still going for this guy, who's coming at us pretty quick. Let's let's take a look at the block count on the flayed soul. So he's 2,500 blocks. That's not bad. There we go. Okay, we have an explosion on the flayed soul. However, the buzzsaw, he's... He's still pushing my ship all the way underwater. As long as I still have one, right? I mean, we we can maybe still do this with one. All right, so the flayed soul is over there just totally exploding. In fact, is that... Let me get over there. Is that another ship way on the horizon? That explosion is causing some pretty good slow-mo here. Oh, it is! And what's hitting it? Something nailed this guy. Oh, it's my torpedoes. Oh, yeah. How fantastic. You can see a few of them coming in. Look. Like this guy. I think he's at a he's at a torpedo juice. And you can see a bunch of other ones here. Oh, that was badass. 
cool. Cool, okay. Semi-effective. Let's see if we can get rid of this last buzzsaw. Who, by the way, has now completely flipped me upside down. <laughs> Come on, man. Why you gotta be flipping a bro? Now the Holden Foya here is... Th this is no longer a hellfire. This is like... Help me! I'm stranded! That's alright. So we beat this battle. Let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll pull the first Scrote Navy back out of play here. Which will... Which will right the ship. So we're, we're back to being good. Okay, you guys. This has been a fantastic episode. Uh, I think I'm going to stop it here. Let me do a save real quick. I usually try to do a save. Like, I usually forget after I'm done recording, and then I'm like, oh, crap, I got to save. It's starting to take exponentially longer to save now. Kind of starting to get worried. Check this out. Campaign time. Eight, campaign time. 18 hours. That's how long we've been playing. So let's take a get a good lay of the land here. We have our own swath opened up here. We have been just... I mean, look at this. We shoveled into the white flares today. They were fairly even across the board, and we just we punched forward, which is super sweet. So we're still making great progress, and uh, I think on the next episode, you know, I think we could probably clear out, like, a bunch of this and this. I, I'm thinking within two episodes, we can probably have the white flares defeated. That's, that's what I'm going to aim for, so we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking, like, two 30-minute episodes... Boom, we could bang this out. So yeah, hey, everybody, guys, gals, we'll stop this episode here. Thank you so much for hanging out and chilling with me today. Very much appreciate it. Love having you guys here. Uh, hey, if you liked the video, um, subscribe. If you're not already, we could always use more at the Scrotorium. I think that's what I'm going to call my my little posse of uh, uh, fellow friends here. Everybody who subs up, we'll all be part of the Scrotorium. We'll be like a Scrotoriorific gang. And that was a really weird word to say. And anyways, yeah, until next time, you guys, uh, take it easy and stay classy.